the hotel, you have to cross this bridge made by the Americans long ago. It's a bridge that goes on top of the Panama Canal. So all the ships go from here. And this bridge is approximately one kilometer long. This is uh, the one that divides Panama, the province, from Panama West, the other province. This is definitely a place that you want to stop and you want to eat their food. They have a veggie pizza that is just freaking amazing. And they have a bunch of food. It's very famous in Panama. Every single person stops at this place uh, before they reach their destination. Continue for three kilometers. So outside the hotel, outside the Pan American Highway, there is a huge pharmacy and also a supermarket that you can buy anything that you need. Even though you're not gonna need anything other than like sunblock, the rest you're gonna find it at the hotel. This is the lobby area, put all the bags here, and then I'm gonna take the car downstairs to get it parked. You don't need any parking permit or, or anything like that, you just come here and get a parking spot. And if you came in the bus, then you don't even have to worry about this. So the check-in time is basically at 3 p.m. And then the checkout is at 11 p.m. So you get your security box if you need it, even though you don't really need it. I bring my laptop all the time, I never put it in there. Um, this is basically the beds. We have another one here. So they include all this and if like you finish it, you can order more. So if you're Muslim, the Qibla would be here. Uh, that's like the east uh, and that's where the sun comes out in Panama. So that's the direction that you would use to pray. You can so there are four pools. That's one, two, three and four. This one is for little kids. That one is open until uh, a little bit later at night and it has a volleyball net. That one has a bar and you can order any type of drinks over there. Uh, everything is inclusive, so everything is pretty much free. You can call it that way. And this is a smaller pool that is a little bit more deep. And over there we have the beach. And also at the beach you have a volleyball court and different activities such as horse riding or also here at night they do the shows uh, over there it's another area that you can order all type of drinks it's uh, the, lo the lobby area and there are like four restaurants that I'll show later I think the service is very good I've come here a lot of times and Anytime you need anything, you just call and it's pretty much right there. I have no complaints. They keep the areas clean. It's nice. We're on the we're on the sixth floor. So we're gonna go to the ground floor. Go to the beach. Get a couple of drinks. So this is how the ground floor looks. This is a restaurant that you need to reserve beforehand, I believe, or make a line to eat there when it's open. The, the other ones are just buffet, just come in and serve.
serve yourself. This is the sport bar. If you want to watch any game. At the back of the sport bar, they, they also have um, nachos. Uh, you just grab it and serve yourself. A lot of cheese. And they also have like some burgers and fruits. Just some random guys on the wall. Here, you just order anything that you want. Some amapolas without alcohol in our case. So these are all the restaurants that there are with their timings. And here's a, a guide for each place. So basically, it's over there, but uh, right now it's closed. Uh, so we're not gonna go there right now. So basically at night, we're gonna come here and eat the buffet food. Um, it's really good. I, I, this is one of the reasons I come here basically because the all-inclusive food is just so amazing that I mean you don't have to worry about food for like three days and it's delicious food and it's all you can eat so I mean <laughs> what's not to like? So at 5.30, a uh, restaurant over there opens up for like snacks. So pretty much you have food all day long. It's amazing. here and play volleyball. I love playing volleyball. Basically here you can come and rent your water sport um, equipment, jet skis and whatnot. So one thing I don't like is that they put a red flag over there after 5.45 uh, which means that the lifeguard is going to leave so everybody needs to come out, out of the water. So as you can see he's right there pulling everybody out which sucks uh, because it's only 5 30 you feel me like it should be at least like until 8 at night so that's a downside for this so you can go to the beach after 5 or 6 I guess you can the lifeguard is not here but nobody's preventing you from going you go on your own risk I guess it's very nice water is beautiful so you see that boat over there I'm gonna try and get it with the drone looks pretty cool
the swimming pools are still open. So it's great. Before they used to close them really early. Now they keep them open. So it's great. For this particular restaurant, you do need to make a line and wait to be called. And you can order uh, with a waitress. So my daughter has a gluten allergy, so we have to bring her food. And this is where we heat it up. It's the sports bar. So now we're gonna go to dinner. This is one of the restaurants here. Siang. There's the other one. And we just like to go to this one because this one is buffet and it's just huge with so much food, it's just ridiculous. I think the main reason why I keep coming to, to this hotel is to eat because of this area, the food area. I mean, it's just crazy. food everywhere so the show is about to start people are starting to come up and then I think this is like a, a disco type of thing for later. You can also get coffee for the coffee addicted people on the sports bar. It's almost 6 a.m. I want to see the sunrise. Everybody's sleeping. But I'm gonna go to the beach and check out the sunrise. So it's 6 a.m. and pretty much there's nobody here.
it's around 8 30 in the morning the weather is so crazy there's no sun i'm loving it right now i like the sun but i also like the rainy weather and it's great so we're about to go and have breakfast the same place that we had dinner it's all buffet and it's amazing so now we're going to breakfast it's the same for everybody uh, this these ones are closed so it's just a big room and there's still another restaurant over by the pool that I have not covered so the menu for the morning is completely different Coffee time on the sports bar. Roberto Duran. Famous Panamanian boxer. World champion. So they give you one card. Her towel. Uh, here you come and claim it. Buenas. This is the towel area. Then, oh, gracias. Just keep in mind not to lose any towel or any card because then you'll be charged. They have movies for the little kids before the adult show. Their movies for little kids.
6 a.m. here. It's really nice. Nobody's here. This, this is one of the moments I most appreciate in life because there's no noise. Just you and God. You get to learn a lot when you're alone. You understand that this life is all about a test and that you need to be patient in life. about loving God. This is what this life is about. Amazing creation. This is our last day here. It's almost 9 a.m. and our checkout is at 12. So basically we're gonna go on the beach, then on the pool, then we're gonna go and take a shower, check out, and then after the checkout they let you uh, have your last uh, lunch on the buffet all you can eat so then we'll do that and then head home driving